What's up guys, my name is PT from Charlie Intel, and as you can see, I'm playing the original Call of Duty 4 on the Xbox 360. So as you know, we're getting a remaster later this year, so I guess it's fair to say that this is one of the best Call of Duties ever made, uh, given the fact, of course, they're going as far as making a remaster. And most of the community agree, a lot of people say this alongside Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1, amongst other games, are by far the best, if not the best, Call of Duties ever made, uh, after, of course, we experienced things like Call of Duty Ghosts and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which some regard as the worst Call of Duty. So most people say that Call of Duty 4 is pretty much the benchmark of the series and most and future games will be based off that game. So I thought to myself, with all this hype around the remaster and everyone thinking this is the best game or best Call of Duty game ever made, I thought I'd just jump on the original 360 version and try it out for myself. Now I had some warnings about how hacked this game is uh, since it hasn't been updated or uh, maintained in many years and my god are they right. This game is literally hacked absolute shit and most of the lobbies are hacked lobbies uh, full of ridiculous things like uh, unlimited ammo or unlimited health. In fact, just the other day I was playing Search and Destroy and it was unlimited health and unlimited ammo, so I don't even know what's going on there. Like, how are you meant to finish a round if you can't even kill anyone and nor can even plant a bomb because most of the time uh, someone defuses it because you can't even kill them. So, literally, it's a complete waste of time to play this game on 360 uh, PC or the PS3, sadly, so I can't recommend it. But otherwise, I would go as far as to say this is my favourite Call of Duty and I think many people agree, and I just cannot wait for the remaster later this year. So as we can all notice, this game has no exosuit abilities whatsoever. The best thing you can do in terms of movement is sprint and perhaps jump every so often, but otherwise uh, there's no boost jumping, no boost sliding, you're not going to find yourself wall running at all anywhere inside this game once you start playing the remastered version, if you haven't of course played this game recently on the 360, PS3 or PC. Now if I'm being completely honest, this game definitely does feel slightly slower and a bit more sluggish in terms of movement versus Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. Depending on the map you're playing of course, if you're playing a small map like Shipment, then it's absolute mayhem, but otherwise if you're playing bigger maps within Call of Duty 4, it definitely feels a lot slower in terms of running around and that kind of stuff. So if you are playing uh, Call of Duty 4 for the first time, uh, you may find this is fast slower uh, overall, whereas if you played this before, then of course it might be quite refreshing to go back to a stripped down Call of Duty where there's no ridiculous movement abilities. But for the most part, this game definitely feels slightly slower and more sluggish versus Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. And given we're getting an, uh, you know enhanced movement abilities in Infinite Warfare, we're literally going to have three years worth of enhanced movement in Call of Duty, so therefore we've kind of slowly been conditioned into this new way of moving in Call of Duty, and now we're going back to a very slow or at least stripped down version of Call of Duty in a Call of Duty 4 Remastered when it comes out later this year. So that might be, you know, something that turns people off when they play this game for the first time in a very, very long time and they find themselves, you know, slightly bored or at least, you know, double tapping or triple tapping A, wondering where their boost jump is coming and literally nothing happens apart from a very pathetic jump in the air because most of the time we literally jumped about half a meter in the air and that was it. So I'm really interested to see how people react to not playing this game for many, many years, having played Advanced Warfare Black Ops 3 and then all of a sudden going back to a stripped down Call of duty and the only thing you can do is sprint and that's it. I'm going to be very interested to see just how people react and how long people stay interested in this game before going back to a uh, game such as uh, Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3 or the newer Infinite Warfare around this kind of time when Call of Duty 4 Remastered drops. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section below guys. Do you think you're going to have the same experience as you did back in 2007 or do you think having played Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3 and then Infinite Warfare back to back that your you know in perception of movement in this game has changed and it won't be as fun for you anymore and the kind of nostalgic feeling and the twilight days of the Call of Duty 4 has literally died. I'm really interested to see what you think about this in the comment section below. If you're excited for Call of Duty 4 Remastered be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for further videos from Charlie Intel. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon.